So we've got now the potato filet, the third course. And um, I requested some additional sauce, which I'm going to put on the side. That's the peppercorn sauce. Okay. And then this is the um, grated horseradish, which I love horseradish, so I decided to get extra. Okay, there you go. Uh, you can't go wrong with this. Uh, it's, I mean, uh, it's spinach. You got spinach, you got potatoes, and you got steak. Let's cut into that steak. See how it looks. Here, it's still here at Mazarov's. I got a glass of the trifectin. Oh my God, that is so good. This is really good, y'all. Come on over if you're in the Houston area or you're coming to Houston at any time. Y'all come on over. <laughs> or don't do that with your cell phone, okay? Don't do that, but hey. Um, but listen, I'm... You know, I'm just not set up to edit right now, so y'all have to forgive me. I'm not going to be editing that, okay? I know, it's bad, right? I said medium rare. It's a perfect medium rare. I, I mean, this is just... I wish I could cook this good. I'm working on it. I mean, you know, I'm not an official chef. I don't know. Like, what I've done when I wanted to cook gourmet at my house, I just, uh, I just cook one thing at a time. Which allows me to put my full energy and effort into what I'm cooking. Hence why I like Japanese food a lot, because it's small plates. Now, if you have like a, um, a food warmer, like it's like kind of like an oven, but not, then you can, um, you, I could do the same thing and just keep my food warm and eat it all at once. I need to get um, some pepper. See what's over. I like my pepper. But yeah, this is really very bougie. I wish we could do this kind of stuff every day. You know, but it's just going to be what I can afford. And um, try to get the guy's attention. I want some pepper. I mean, the service here is excellent. Don't get me wrong. He's just not looking right now. And I like a lot of pepper. As y'all know, if you've watched any any amount of my videos, you already know. But I do appreciate if you got this far in the video. You, Click on the thumbs up. Um, thumbs up on the video and um, what else? Share with your friends. Sharing is caring. And if you feel like you'd like to make a financial contribution to my channel, my cash app is in the description below. Until I get monetized on YouTube, which I don't know how long it's going to take. Might take a day, might take a week, might 
I take a year. I don't care, but in the meantime, those of you that are enjoy my channel, um, feel free to make a cash app contribution. I'm trying to get the uh, not look it over. Every they, they've got all their tables filled up. Can I get can I get some pepper? Lots of pepper. You won't you won't disappoint me. Yeah, really? <laughs> that's probably what I would do. I get it all over. That's fine. Thank you. But yeah, this is this is perfect because the only reason I didn't get the country fried ribeye is he said it was a lot of food and I'd have to take it home. So um maybe next time. But this is the petite filet, fingerlings, um, roasted potatoes, peppercorn sauce, horseradish grated, and garlic, sauteed garlic and olive oil spinach. And I'm telling you what, you, this is the perfect amount of food for me. Um, it really is. It's not too much. It's, it's just the right amount. Okay. And um, I looked at my YouTube statistics and I am starting to get more noticed on YouTube. I sure am. One of my videos has 4,000 views. I mean, yeah, it's the Houston Rodeo. Yeah, a rodeo just ended. But you know what? You've got to start somewhere. Okay. And I'm starting with what I love the most is food. And most people enjoy food and food reviews. And y'all ever come to Houston, come on down to Miles Ross and you will get excellent service and whatever you order I'm sure is to be delicious. Oh, it's great. I like French onion soup, but they didn't have it as an option. Oops. Now, I was saying I was going to walk over to Academy. Now I'm thinking I'm going to Uber. Because. Well, you can get more done if you Uber. Or drive. I told y'all I stole my car to start a YouTube channel. I was thinking I'd lose weight, but not yet. <laughs> you can get the plastic Cabernet to go with it. Trifecta. really delicious. I mean, I used to eat this type of food every day. Only gourmet. Unfortunately, at that time in my life, I wasn't recording. I was not doing YouTube. So share it with the world so people could see what all I was doing. So, 
you know what? If we woke up today, it's never too late. We're still alive. Time to start fresh. I encourage those of you, and I'll try to do some tutorials since I got two cell phones. I'm going to teach y'all how to do a YouTube channel on your cell phone without buying um, an external camera. Okay? I will teach y'all what I am learning myself. Because everybody has some kind of hobby. He dropped the menu. It's okay. I know he didn't mean to. I dropped it too on the butter. It didn't fall on the video. Now, I don't know. I am getting a Costco card today. And I know that Costco does not allow filming. However, I'm going to turn this up. As you can see, this is a wallet case, right? And my poppy thing broke. Well, can y'all see if I'm recording right now? No. <laughs> So basically, you unplug it, and I'll go through the steps later, but yeah. Um, I don't really know if you guys want to see a Costco video, um, but uh, also Best Buy, I'll do the same thing. The only thing is, like, it'll be more like a point and shoot. I mean, it's not like I'm going to hold my phone up like this so people can see that I'm filming. No, I'll just have it by my side. And what y'all get to see is what y'all get to see. I may or may not be making commentary. But that's the only way, realistically, to film when you can't film. And, you know, if they do tell you to stop filming, then turn it off. Right in front of them, stop it. Say, I'm so sorry, I didn't know. Please forgive me. And don't film anymore in, in there, okay? Because you don't want to get in trouble. But, like, what they don't know won't hurt them. I'm just, I'm just filming at Costco. I'm just showing you all the deals and that's and such. I know. I don't plan on filming people. Now, they may be in my video. <laughs> but it's okay. I mean, I'm not overly worried about it. But I mean, I, I did one in Target, and I thought... I, I did one in Target where I bought a Joby. I returned it. Now, I may buy that same Joby today. I'm going to look at Best Buy and see what they got. But, yeah, I was able to go in Target, and I actually did not have this case on. I was just holding the phone horizontal, and I was in there for maybe 45 minutes where I, where I went. I had to find the selfie stick. Then I purchased it, and that was the part where, when I was purchasing it, I put the phone behind my backpack, and I thought for sure that guy was going to be like, I don't know, is she filming or whatever? Nobody said anything, and then when I, when I paid, I just held the phone close to my body, so don't, you can't walk around like you're filming. You just kind of, kind of got to let it flow and let the iPhone do the work. Because if you walk around and start doing a product review or this or that, well, they're going to know. They're going to tell you, ma'am, you can't film in the store. And at that point, you need to turn it off. 
like when I was in Memorial City and you see this I was holding this up you know I was just well I didn't know you couldn't film in there and um, I passed by a security officer and I said hi and the next thing I know he said he came up behind me and said ma'am you can't film on Simon Properties it's against the policy. Well, I was, okay, I said, okay, no problem. Let me turn it off. And I and it was on a live YouTube video on Streamlabs. But I said, no problem. Thank you, sir. I'm ending it now. I said, I apologize. I didn't know. However, I must say that the Galleria is also a mall. It's a Simon property. And I have walked through there with this same thing right here. This thing, holding it up, filming. The same selfie stick uh, is Joby, I like this one. Through the Ga Houston Galleria, and I'm talking about not once, not twice, and not just on YouTube, but on Facebook Live, on Bego, which is another app, it's a chit chat app, okay. On Bego, on Facebook Live, um, all of it. Billions of times. Now, the only reason they, and they never say nothing at the Galleria. Uh-uh. So, the 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 only reason the guy at Memorial City stopped me is because of the selfie stick. Okay. That's the only reason. And again, he wasn't rude. I wasn't rude. No filming. I'm so sorry, sir. Ending it. I ended it. Live video. One and done. And then I didn't film again until... I had walked outside of the mall and I was walking over towards the, um, oh, Japanese restaurant. Well, actually, we are not so far from that Japanese restaurant called Ku. I don't know how to say it. Ku or K U U or K something. I'm not going to show because I told them I don't film the customers. I just film my food and my menus. But I can tell you just from looking around. I mean, I'm going to do what I say and say what I do. So if I ask permission to do a food review and they happen to Google it on the, um, my YouTube channel, I want them to see that I'm doing what I say and saying what I do. Now, um, if I you know, came here at an off hour, you know, maybe 2, 3 p.m., which I'm sure they're probably filled the whole day, where I was sitting in an area where there wasn't, because when, when I first came in, I did show you all the restaurant, because there was no one in here. Um, yeah, so I might show more, but I want to... I want some of these restaurants to start inviting me to do food reviews in the fully comped. So if I want to do that, then I want to make sure I leave a good impression and they know that I'm not going to, you know, zoom in on some lady's shoes with the blue toenails, which I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Okay, I'm just looking at her blue toenails. Anywho, but I'm not going to do that because it's not appropriate. But I want to thank you all for tuning in. I got one more bite. It's so good, y'all. This is perfect. Like I said, perfect for me. Not too much, not too little. Just the right amount. Horseradish, peppercorn, demi glaze. Y'all come on down to Montserrat and I'll see you on the next video. Toodaloo.